Welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day six of Vlogmas. Woo! Almost a week done. In today's video, I am trying something very new, something I've never done before. It is called a vitamin C hair treatment, and basically it's hopefully going to strip the pink color out of my hair. I have looked up so many ways of how to do this, and none of them are the same at all. Like, not even remotely close. How I'm going to do it is... So I just bought some regular vitamin C pills at the grocery store. And I blended them up in my little blender. It's like a fake Nutribullet and it worked super well. I know that if you don't have one of these, you can just put it in a little baggie and crush it up with a hammer. I crushed up exactly 15 pills. This is where I get a lot of discrepancies. So you're supposed to mix it with shampoo. A lot of people either say clear shampoo, clarifying shampoo, dish soap, moisturizing shampoo, shampoo for dandruff, just like a bunch of different stuff. So I went with this. I went with cheap shampoo. This was on sale for 99 cents. Um, I also tried to get a clear kind. I, I think this is clear. I mean, whitish clear. Um, this is the VO5 Moisture Milks Island Coconut. I also just freaking love coconut everything. So, and this is also moisturizing shampoo. So I'm gonna mix it with this. Just got like a little bowl and I guess I'm just going to dump the powder. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Do not smell that, guys. Oh, such strong. Holy shnikes. Just gonna dump this powder in here. A friend actually recommended this to me, so he said to do half and half, so... And I've also heard about like three to four tablespoons. I mean, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that was one, two, Three, let's do four. After that, you're supposed to mix it into a paste. I honestly don't know if this is good enough. A lot of pictures that I saw, the paste seemed a little bit thicker. Um, this is kind of my consistency. There are a couple bigger chunks that the blender did not get. You know, some people apply this like three to four times, I know that's like the safe amount you can do it. I am hoping, fingers crossed, that I only have to do it one time. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that because, like, I don't have very much color still left in my hair. Okay, so I have an ombre, so I don't need to apply it to my roots, because they're just my normal hair color. I mean, it's faded a ton, but it's pink, and I need it to go away, because I have a second part of this video that will be going up tomorrow and it's me dyeing my hair a different color. Stay tuned for tomorrow because I will be coloring my hair. Can you guess what color my hair is going to be? Please comment below what color you think it's going to be. If you already know because you're friends with me in real life, don't give it away. Okay, okay, okay. So next in this process, after I have my paste, next I'm supposed to wet my hair with a spray bottle, but I can't find my spray bottle because we use the spray bottle to punish bad kitties. Isn't that right, Sprout? But we don't ever punish our kitties because they're freaking perfect. So I don't know where the spray bottle is. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wet my hair down, BRB. I'm back, my hair is damp. I just did the bottom parts where obviously I'm going to apply it. I think I am going to put on my little hair dressing cape. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. I'm kind of scared I didn't make enough and it's also just like very watery. One article I read said to put it on for two hours, which just seems absolutely ridiculous. Another one said to do it for 30 minutes. A lot, a lot, a lot of people have said that it dries out your hair which I am pretty worried about because I already have dry hair because I wash it every single day and I just can't get out of the habit. 
Luckily, I bought a ton of hair masks because I knew that I was going to be doing this. And everyone says just to deep condition it afterwards, do a hair mask, blah, 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 and then your hair should be fine. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I am going to quickly put this bag over my head. I'm going to leave this on. And I will be back in 30 to 40 minutes. I'll let you know how long I keep it on. Um, yeah, okay, all right. Be back in a jiff. Okay, I'm back, everyone. It's been about, like, 50 minutes. I was getting a little too into American Horror Story, as one does. It is ready for shower time. We're gonna see the results, and I will be back after the shower. Okay, guys, I am back from my shower. I am back from blow-drying my hair, and... This is the result. Um, I'm not too happy with it. I'm really not. Um, I do think it worked some. Like, this part looks pretty light to me. Like, you can definitely, definitely still see pink. I didn't think I would need to do another treatment. I could just use the dye over it and not do another treatment, but I think it would kind of tint it a different color that I don't want it to tint. I'm trying to not give away the color yet. And I will see you guys tomorrow, and it may be a hair dyeing video, depending on how much time I have before work, or it could be a different video. So, I don't know. Expect the unexpected, okay? Okay. Alright, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye guys!